If you've got a Mac OS machine and you're trying to install the MATLAB support package on MATLAB for 2023 A or B, it very likely won't work if you've got a Silicon uh, Apple machine. It may work for you with an Intel machine, but not for the Silicon M1 or M2 or M3 machines. So in order to deal with this, uh, after you receive like an error like this, if, you, if you're trying to do the installation, you have to install version 2022 or 2021 of MATLAB. I'm going to recommend 2022B, and this can work for both Intel or uh, Apple Silicon machines. So this is my recommendation for how to deal with installing from Arduino hardware on Mac OS in the fall of 2023 and onwards until there's a fix to this problem. So we're going to assume that you have the 2022B version of the MATLAB program. And I've got it here. You can see the, the release version right there. If you type in the word Arduino, it'll tell you you need the MATLAB support package, which you can do by either clicking on that link or the one on the top that I just clicked on. You'll get the add-on explorer. You click on Arduino hardware support package and install. And as long as you've got the 2022 version of MATLAB, this will work fine on both Intel and Apple Silicon machines. Now I logged in using my university ID, et cetera, et cetera. And the MathWorks recognized it. And now it's doing the installation of that package. So I have to wait for this process to go through. I'll speed up through it. And eventually it will um, do the installation. There we go. So I accept the conditions and I default to all those standard packages and it zips through this. This takes a relatively long time. So I sped it up and now it's on my machine. It's installed on MATLAB. So let's take a look at testing for the actual Arduino hardware. Now that MATLAB's on here and it's got the driver. So the first thing to do is to figure out if uh, I've got the serial port connected up. And these are the serial ports that are on my machine without the board actually connected. I'm going to have to connect up a USB-C uh, connector on one side on my computer and micro USB on the actual Arduino board in this case. Now you could, you might have an uh, a regular USB-A that might require a um, an adapter like this, or you can use the cable that's included in the kit that has micro USB on one side and um, USB-C on the other. So micro USB is what you plug in as that old school cell phone connector. It's what you plug into the board and then USB-C on a regular modern Mac machine is what you connect into the Mac. So you can see that there's a power light, a power LED that has uh, lit up on my board. That's good. And now if I type in serial port list again, there'll be a new entry on the list. Can see right there it says dev tty usb serial etc etc but we don't actually know what it there you go so I, I wrote in ants end in order to figure out the whole name in the past we would just type in usb serial dash 0001 as the serial port but as you'll see it doesn't work in this particular case we're actually going to have to type in slash dev slash tty dot usb serial dash 0001 but i'll try this now arduino a is equal to Arduino USB serial 0001 and a Nano 3 style board. It won't work, much to my surprise in this case. It times out, you, you'll see it happen. And then I'll try some variants. Now it's trying to connect to Bluetooth. You can say, okay, it doesn't really matter. We're not actually using Bluetooth in this particular case. So it doesn't recognize the short form of the USB serial port name. Next, I'm gonna try tty.usb serial dash 0001 and a nano 3 board. That's not going to work either. You'll see that in a second. We just have to wait for it to time out. And sometimes this takes a while. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, it'll be COM3 or COM4 or COM5 or something like that. On Mac OS, it's this uh, different style of name just because of the type of driver that we're using, the type of hardware that we're using and how Mac OS recognizes it. Okay, so that didn't work either. So let's try a new one. Let's do slash dev slash tty dot USB serial dash 
zero 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 one like this and we're doing a nano 3 style board that's not the official name of this board but it's one that's most compatible with what we have from seed studio so now you can see it says updating server code on the board because it's downloading a piece of software onto the Arduino board and you'll see some lights beside the USB port that'll start flashing like that and that's an indication there's communication going on so now it's reflash the board and it shows that the Arduino object uh, the a Arduino object is now complete if it doesn't get recognized at that stage. You may have to install a USB driver specifically for this board. If you go to the wiki page for the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino, it connects to Silicon Labs and you can download the Mac OS driver right there. Anyway, we didn't have to in this case. Most of the modern Apple Silicon machines don't require it. So the, that, that uh, driver is already built in. So now let's try and flash the, um, the D4 LED, the big red LED in the upper left corner. So we're going to use the right digital pin function. We're going to pass it the A object, the A Arduino object, and we're going to spe specify uh, D4 as the pin. And we're going to say, give it a one, which is on. And there it goes. It's on. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but with a zero to turn it off. And we have a working board you can see. All right. Good luck, everyone.